Let's get some better software on that peak OnePlus hardware. ROM support certainly has come a long way, being far more accessible for even the average person who isn't quite happy with the software included on their device. Pixel Experience's official release is V11, and their instructions are overall pretty good. The process is also identical from the 7 Pro and the 7T Pro, with just a difference in file. Each will be linked in the description. Before you start, your PC will need ADB and fastboot. If you haven't got that set up, I'll also have a guide linked in the description. There are also plenty of other guides around. First off, we want to get the prep out the way. There are three files to download. The Pixel Experience Recovery, found here, and the Pixel Experience ROM, and the Copy Partitions file. You'll also need to enable USB debugging and enable OEM Unlock in the Developer Options menu of your device. With that out of the way, our first step is to unlock the bootloader. A reminder that this will clear all your data, so be sure to have backups and don't wipe out anything you'll miss. Connect your device via USB. Open your ADB folder, then type cmd into the folder path to launch the command window, and type adb reboot bootloader. This will reboot the device into fast boot mode. Then we want to type fast boot devices. This should come back with a device ID, confirming that you have a connection. If you get an error here, you'll need to double check your ADB and fast boot setup. Then we type fast boot OEM unlock and complete the prompts on your phone. A few moments later. Once the restart is completed, the bootloader is now unlocked. Now, as the device has been cleared, you will need to quickly go through the setup process again. And then enable USB debugging from the developer options to continue. Then you'll want to get back into Fastboot with ADB Reboot Bootloader. And again, double check that connection with Fastboot Devices. We'll now flash the recovery, which is what will be used to install the ROM in the later stage. This is done with the command Fastboot Flash Recovery, and then the full name of the recovery file. It's best to simply copy the file name then right click the command window to paste the full name, ensuring the .img is still on the end. Once complete, power off the device. Then boot into our shiny new recovery by turning the device on by holding volume down plus the power buttons together. As this device has multiple partitions with potentially different firmware, we'll need to fix that, otherwise the device might break. To get around that, we copy the contents of one to the other. To do this, we select Apply Update and then Apply from ADB. Then on your PC, we sideload the Copy Partitions package with ADB sideload and the full name ending with .zip. Now press Advanced, then Reboot to Recovery to continue the process. We do a quick format here to remove any encryption and delete all files by tapping Factory Reset, then Format Data, Factory Reset, and following the process along. Return to the main menu, and we can finally install the ROM. As before, on the device, select Apply Update, then Apply from ADB. Then on your PC, we sideload the ROM with ADB sideload and the file name ending in .zip. Five minutes later. In my case, I got an error at 47%, but as per the instructions, this is fine and results in a success. Restart, and now you have your new ROM applied to your amazing OnePlus device. And voila, 
Doing what OnePlus wouldn't. The excellent Android 12 paired with your excellent OnePlus. I did use this as my daily driver too. Click on the video on screen to see my thoughts on that. And don't forget to chuck us a like and subscribe if you found this helpful. Cheers.